Hi, I'm Stephanie Shane, director of the Stop Puppy Mills campaign for the Humane Society of the United States. This year, we've been able to rescue thousands of dogs from puppy mills, horrible mass breeding operations that treat dogs cruelly and don't even provide for their most basic of needs. The HSUS has long fought against puppy mills, and we continue our fight against this cruel industry. We just wrapped up an eight-month investigation into Petland, the nation's number one retail supporter of puppy mills. In every Petland store we visited, they denied they buy from puppy mills. What we uncovered is a different story. Here is just a sampling of what we found. Petland has a very aggressive policy about reputable breeders. They are spot checked, they're visited by corporate staff as well as franchisees across the country. This HSUS investigation tracked the sale of nearly 17,000 puppies to Petland stores across the country. Almost every puppy we tracked was shipped hundreds of miles from a puppy mill in the Midwest. This puppy was for sale at the Pensacola, Florida Petland store. She was shipped more than 750 miles from where she was born, MAM Kennel, a USDA licensed puppy mill in Lamar, Missouri. USDA inspectors documented numerous repeat problems at MAM over the last several years, including an absence of vet care, dogs without even the required minimum of cage space, severely rusted cages with sharp protruding wires, and in spite of the USDA's reports, at least 10 Petland stores bought puppies from MAM. We have very, very high standards for our breeders. Year after year, USDA reports depict Stick Kennel in Ellington, Missouri as a filthy, broken down facility housing neglected dogs. Last year, investigators found completely dry water buckets while outdoor temperatures soared into the mid-90s and an accumulation of feces that made it difficult for the dogs to maneuver. But Petland stores in Indiana and Ohio both bought puppies from Stick Kennel. We witnessed appalling conditions, rows of dogs living in filthy, barren cages with no socialization and inadequate care. Like the best breeders in the country. About 800 dogs live in small cages at Clearwater Kennels, a USDA licensed puppy mill in Cushing, Minnesota. USDA inspectors found repeat problems at Clearwater, including a failure to provide minimum space for dogs, a failure to provide clean pens, failure to provide primary enclosures that protect dogs' feet from injury, and during one inspection, such a lack of adequate care that a dead dog and puppy were not removed in a timely manner. Petland stores in Michigan and Indiana bought puppies from Clearwater Kennels this year. So they're not like from puppy mills. They're no, no, no. Despite what pet stores say, many are selling puppy mill puppies. Please help us make sure no dog has to live her lifetime in a cage. Contact Petland and ask them to stop selling puppies.